Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. I was busy with my normal daytime job as a teacher and didn't have a lot of time for projects. But I'm back and um, I'm still working on the belt grinder, uh, my belt grinder. I made the drive wheel but uh, now I need to cut the keyway. And now I have a shaper. Of course I will use the shaper for the keyway. Um, but I need some tools to cut the keyway and the manual shows uh, the keyway cutter is mounted in the clapper box. Uh, some will fix the clapper box or uh, mount a, a steady tool um, instead. But I will try to use the clapper box uh, and see how it goes. Um, and I thought, okay, what would be a good and easy design? Um, so quick and easy. I don't want to make a, a big two day project out of it. Um, and I found this nice big bolt, it's M20 uh, it's 12.9 steel so that's quite strong steel for this and um, the normal um, uh, cutting holder or I don't know how you call this part um, tool holder um, is mounted from the back and it fits inside the clapper box in here so I'll make a bushing with the M20 thread and um, thread the bolt in with a nut on the other side to mount it cut off the head, drill and ream some hole for the cutter and um, yeah, quick and easy so uh, let's see how it works
So the tool holder is ready and next step is making the cutting tool. Um, I will use an old uh, machine tab M6 for that um, cut it off and uh, grind it. The tool will have a 2 degree cutting angle and around 10 degree uh, clearance angle and also from the top and uh, front view it will have the 2 degree uh, clearance angle. So I will start with the 10 degree. The 10 degree is set over here. Just quick and easy. Two degrees. For the top and the front clearance, the 2 degree clearance, um, I need both angles in one cut. Um, so now I only cut the top side 2 degrees, but not the front side. Um, so I need to tilt this one in 2 degrees and then grind it. Um, but I thought about making an indexing head or something like that. Um, but then I thought, okay, this project was about quick and easy, so um, how about that? Um, two degrees, two and a half, one and a half, it doesn't really matter. So this is close enough. And it should work. Put it on there. Uh, Now, tilt it two degrees, fix it. Checking, check. 
The reason why I used so much uh, stick out here is because I want to grind a little flat on it for uh, the set screw and for the orientation of the of the tool. So uh, next and uh, last step is uh, grinding the flat. Just uh, two design uh, thoughts. I drilled these two little holes to be able to fix it um, if the thread gets stuck inside. Uh, without these holes, I have no way to grab onto this part. So um, I don't think I will use it. But if I need it, then I can use these for a tool. And the other feature is I drilled this uh, three millimeter focus. Yep. Uh, this three millimeter hole uh, in the same alignment as the cutting tool, so I can use that, uh, put a drill in it or something like that to align it. How's that for an alignment drill? <laughs> Three millimeters. Okay, first uh, test cut, or it's not a test cut, it's for a part, uh, for the belt grinder. Um, I noticed that the uh, clapper box needs some pressure downwards, um, maybe the arm is too long, or maybe the keyway cutting does need a fixed tool, I don't know, maybe you guys have any idea. Um, but if I put some pressure on here, then uh, it works okay. So uh, cutting itself um, is C45 uh, steel, works okay. So uh, yeah, let's think of something to hold the clapper box and then uh, cut the keyway. How's this for a low cost solution? Just an inner tube from a bicycle tire. So this little project is uh, finished, um, tools to make the tools and never enough tools. But um, yeah, the keyway uh, cutting was uh, really nice. Um, it did need some tension uh, downwards, so maybe in the future I will build a, a solid um, holder for it 
um, and maybe make a little bit shorter uh, tool holder um, so it can uh, get more tension. But this one is nice for longer reaches. Um, but the keyway is in and uh, it's for the, my belt grinder so that's a project I was working on. So uh, let's get back to that and uh, save the video for that for uh, a new video. So thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.